Welcome to the National Weather Service Denver Boulder office. Come on inside and we'll show you around. As a Weather Ready Nation ambassador, you're a force multiplier to help us create a Weather Ready Nation and help keep our citizens safe from impending weather. We provide you materials to educate your partners and we recognize the good work you're already doing in promoting a Weather Ready Nation. My name is Nizette Rydell and I'm the meteorologist in charge here at the forecast office. My job is to ensure that this group of meteorologists, hydrologists, administrative and support staff have all of the resources, training, admin and management support they need to deliver quality, valuable and timely impact decision support services to all of our partners in the state of Colorado. I'm Paul Schlotter, I'm the National Weather Service Denver Boulder Science and Operations Officer. One of the main roles of being a, the Science and Operations Officer, or SUE, of a forecast office is being the, the research to operations catalyst in the office. So I look at all the latest and greatest science and technology and tools and then figure out how to best integrate that into the forecast process so that we can make uh, better forecast decisions at our office. Hi, my name is Greg Hansen. I'm the Warning Coordination Meteorologist at the National Weather Service here in Boulder. The main function of my job is to be the liaison with outside organizations. I'm kind of the sales and marketing arm of the National Weather Service office here. I try to build partnerships with our, our core partners, emergency managers and the media, um, any other groups that are uh, looking for, for outreach opportunities. Um, want to make sure that our lines of communication are open between the National Weather Service Office and the people outside our office. Hello everyone, I'm Mike G with the National Weather Service in Boulder, Colorado. I am an electronics technician here. So forecasting is not the only thing we do with the National Weather Service. There are people like myself and the rest of my team that do behind the scenes work, which would include uh, radar maintenance, for instance, we have a, a WSR-88D uh, next red radar, so we'd have to maintain and calibrate that piece of equipment. There are other additional pieces of equipment, like ASOS, there's ASOS stations that we monitor, control, calibrate, maintain. Uh, and one of the other things that we uh, do here is we take care of the network, the computers, everybody's email accounts and so forth, so if there's any kind of computer issues of any kind, we do that as well. I am the service hydrologist. I manage the office's hydrologic program, including operational flood, flash flood, and drought monitoring procedures, uh, training, and techniques. I work with local communities to determine flood impacts and assess flood risk, especially during uh, flooding and potential flash flooding. I work with the river forecast centers that route the water downstream and provide hydrologic support to emergency management and other officials. Here we are in the operations area. This is where our team of meteorologists analyze a tremendous amount of meteorological data, including radar data, satellite data, observational data, take in many reports from our partners, and use that information to provide accurate forecasts and warning services for the next seven days. We have a minimum of two forecasters on shift at all times, and that's 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days of the year. We strategically staff our operations to handle the appropriate amount of weather. For example, when the weather is quiet, we may only need two forecasters in the office. When the weather is extremely impactful or we have severe weather going on, we'll have many more forecasters in the office, sometimes upwards of eight or nine forecasters working the weather desks. So that allows us to provide the level of services during high impact events the same as we would during a, a period of quieter weather. We typically have a short term forecaster focusing on the first 24 to 36 hours of the forecast and then a long term forecaster forecasting all the way out through seven days. During times of severe weather we also have at least one or two severe weather forecasters and possibly three or more are in a very busy or a high impact weather day. So one of the things that we do is we forecast for three airports in the Denver area and uh, this monitor uh, is green right now which means the forecasts are good but when it starts to uh, turn yellow then we have to go amend our forecast uh, when the wind is, is different than what we forecast so that the air traffic controllers can adjust um, what they're doing at the airport. We maintain a gridded forecast database that's on a, a two kilometer grid 
with one hour time resolution. So we keep our temperature, dew point, wind speed, uh, sky cover, precipitation, all of these data on this fine grid every hour. Um, and so that allows us to offer services uh, on our website. You can go in and click on a point and get not only a worded forecast, but you can get the detail. You can get a graph with the temperature, relative humidity, or wind every hour. You can see which hours rain is most likely to fall. Um, and and this, get this very deep level of forecast. Hello, my name is Lisa Craterman. I'm a general forecaster here at the National Weather Service, as well as my specialized position is an incident meteorologist. Now what that means is I have a little more training on micro scale meteorology as well as mountain meteorology. So I have a little more education in that mountain meteorology, which is where most wildfires occur. Uh, but my purpose is to go help those incident management teams uh, develop a plan to help uh, manage that incident, whether it's a fire, whether it's an oil spill, uh, whether it's search and recovery, um, but they need to know what weather is coming in in order to formulate a plan on how to manage that incident. I have gone to several places uh, as an IMET on these incidences, anywhere from Alaska to California to Washington, here in Colorado. It's a very special job and it's a very rewarding job because we're there to help this team and help the firefighters or incident personnel there um, to complete their mission. Hi, I'm Russell Danielson. I'm a meteorologist uh, intern with the National Weather Service. And over here, uh, this is the public service desk. Uh, we're kind of a jack of all trades. Uh, we'll uh, take public phone calls, we'll monitor and post on social media, we'll watch the observations and make sure uh, that they're quality controlled. We also run the climate program and during severe weather operations we contact uh, law enforcement with warning information. Hello, my name is Carrie and I'm a general forecaster here at the office. As a general forecaster it is my role to produce a forecast as well as support the other forecasters in my office in their duties. Part of the forecast is that we use AWIPS. AWIPS is our software program. It helps us to monitor current weather as severe, flooding, or winter weather, issue warnings, as well as produce the forecast. We do forecasts for 24 hours out to 7 days. We have different forecasters that produce different parts of the forecast and AWIPS is our main tool that allows us to do that. Be a force multiplier. Make a difference in your community. Work closely with us. Join our Weather Ready Nation. We hope to see you soon.